hey, uh, this video is gonna be a little different. It is not a tutorial. It is gonna be a reading of some of my fan fiction that I, that I wrote. This story is based on uh, The X-Files which is a show starring agents Mulder and Sully. Yeah, I like to uh, do my fan fictions in like comic book form because that way if if they ever decide like to film it, it's like they already have the the storyboards already done. So yeah, this uh this story begins at the X-Files headquarters and 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 agent Mulder is saying uh that looks like that was another successful X-File mission. And now we finally know who really built the ancient pyramids. But but Sully, she she's like more skeptical. She's saying, Yeah, yeah, right, come on, Mulder. If you know, if aliens are so real, how then why haven't I ever seen an alien in real life? And so that's smart guy. And and Mulder says Okay, okay, you want to see an, an alien, Sage and Sully? Then I will show you an alien. In fact, I will show you how to draw an alien. So then uh, Mulder says that first of all, you start with the eyeball. Uh, aliens, they only have one big giant eyeball and no pupil. And uh, they may only have one eyeball, but they got two mouth holes. Yeah, the, the outer white ring is like the, the alien lips, and the small black circle is the actual mouth hole. And like, they, they mostly like drink uh, food in liquid form through a straw, but they can, they can fit like solid, like straw-sized foods in there, like, like uh, individual french fries. So then, uh, so they draw in all of the aliens, uh, nice beautiful soft white hairs. The hair is all white because like those aliens they drink a lot of vanilla milkshakes. With those two mouth holes they can drink two milkshakes at the same time. And now the most important uh, piece, this little alien technology they have on here, it's actually like a special uh, device that projects a, a holographic image up here like this is the light beams coming off of it, it projects an image up over the alien's face so that they appear to be human and they can hide in plain sight. And also, this, this device is lunar powered, which means they, they are, they suck in the energy out of the moon, thereby making little moon face uh, an ad 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 accessory to the intergalactic crimes. But look at little Moonface. He's crying. So anyway, after uh, Agent Mulder tells Sully all this uh, alien facts, then uh, a real life alien bursts in to the X-Files office. And Agent Sully is like, holy fucking shit, it's a goddamn motherfucking alien. Yeah, you know, they, they don't normally use that kind of language on the X-Files TV show. But, you know, that was, that's just because it was made back in the 90s, and it was a gentler time. So then, uh, let me turn the page. The, the alien fires a laser beam at the agents Mulder and Sully. And we cut to outside. We see the, uh, the mysterious cigarette smoking man just standing around smoking. And the, but the laser beam gets him right in the face. And he drops his cigarette. And the cigarette falls from his hand and lands on this innocent baby. And the baby bursts into baby flames. So then the, uh, the alien is like, hold on a second, you guys. I gotta reload my gun. But the Mulder and Sully are not gonna wait. They're, they're like, now's our chance. Let's, let's get, let's use the X-Files maneuver. So, so then... Uh, Sully kicks the alien right in the fucking face with a roundhouse kick and while Mulder at the same time smashes in his kneecaps with a hammer and soon the alien is dead lying in its, uh, a pool of its own blood and Agent Sully says well I guess, guess you were right all along Mulder aliens do exist and I know I, I wouldn't have believed it myself if I hadn't uh, kicked in its teeth with my own foot and look at all those alien teeth. So then Mulder says, uh, it's like I always say, Agent Sully, 
The tooth is out there. Bum, ba da bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. So anyway, yeah, that's my uh, fan fiction story. It was, it was inspired by the X-Files, but it was also inspired by, by an actual incident in real life where I saw an alien from outer space. I saw it happen many years ago when I was but a child. And, and I saw this alien, it infiltrated, I saw one of these guys, it infiltrated the orphanage where I slept and disguised itself as the orphan master. But I, 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 could, I could see the truth and I told him right to his face, I said, orphan master, I can see through your alien subterfuge. And the orphan master said to me, You shut your goddamn orphan mouth, or else uh, the only time I want to see you open that mouth of yours is when you sing. So sing, orphan boy. Sing for your orphan food.